right, I'm standing here with Isaiah Vidal. Most will know you from the High Rock space. Yeah. Um, this is your first semifinals. Yes. How does this atmosphere, crowd, compare to something like the High Rocks? You know, it's it's such a different feeling because like there's a time gap. Versus in High Rocks, it's like it's everything's for time. Everything here's for time as well, but it just depends on how far you're willing to push yourself. But honestly, like this crowd is like no other. Like that vibration and, and the on the field of play is just like you can feel it and you can just feel the energy. You can just feel when the crowd is quiet and then when you try to like really uplift them, you can feel that everybody's like connected with you. So I think that's just like the biggest difference, honestly, because if you're in like a Spartan or a High Rocks event, people are all over the place. You don't hear them at just one time at all at the same time. It's one piece after another. Versus here, it's like so exhilarating because you actually can feel the atmosphere really like with you and connected with you. You started out strong on the yeah. run sled. Yeah. Um, totally expected from those of us that know you. Finished yesterday strong with yep. the run again, right? Yes. But you just crushed this one. Yes, I know. I just, I felt confident going into the last day just because I know everybody's beat up. Usually that's when I can start to really pull ahead because I just know how to adapt when I'm very fatigued. Yeah. But honestly, just these work, these last two workouts are really kind of wheelhouse workouts. Yeah. I can pace them pretty well without going to failure and just really just right in that fine line. So that's what I'm just doing today. Got one more workout to do, you know. The weekend isn't over until it's over. Absolutely. For me, like, I'm just super blessed just to even be here. You know, to be transferring over to a new sport, mm -hmm. less than two years into it, mm -hmm. it's just a blessing in disguise. Learning a lot. Yeah, I'm learning yeah. so much. I'm learning, like, the, like, on the first day, like, the rings were wider than I'm usually practicing with. That's the reason why Invent 2 went completely bad for me, just because I wasn't prepared for that. Right. But you, should, you, you never fail, you're just learning. Yeah. And for me, like, those are little pieces that I'm going to start taking away home. Good thing I, they got to let us keep the ruck because I know for sure if it comes up next year, I'll be ready for yeah, it. Yeah, the weighted was a diff different. Very. Yeah. And I practiced like with 30 pounds, you know. I, I practiced with heavier weight on my back. But then again, the rings that I was practicing with were a lot closer, yeah. a lot narrower than these rings here. You can't move. They're wider. So that's why I was always, I felt like, what the heck's going on? It's because I was chicken winging it because mm -hmm. of the, the width of it. And that's just a learning experience, you know? Absolutely. So there's a lot of takeaways that I can take from this weekend. And, you know, it's just it's my first time yeah. ever here. I can't beat myself up too bad. I had, you know, several top 15 finishes. And for me, it's just like, just keep moving forward. You're good. Love that. Well, we look forward to see you keep improving and keep coming back. Absolutely. And finish strong. Thank you so much. Thank you.